All right, guys. So we are three weeks now into the release of Pokemon 151, and to be honest, this set is amazing. All right, it has beautiful cards. It has plenty of cards to chase after. Uh, I mean, you have your Charizard, your Venus, or your Blastoise. You have your uh, pre-evolutions of all of them, and then there's some other ones too that are really beautiful cards. You have uh, Alakazam. My favorite of the whole set honestly is Zapdos. I think Zapdos is a beautiful card just the way it looks on the it's just amazing. It's my favorite. So this set is by far I want to say it is the best so far of Scarlet and Violet hands down followed up by uh, Obsidian Flames. Now this set also introduced the first ever God Pack. I think no, correct me if I'm wrong. For the English packs, this is the first time they released a God Pack. And it was when you have a uh, all three evolutions, like Charmander, Charmeleon, and Charizard, in the set. And then the pack you open up, it was it's amazing. I've never seen that before in English. I always thought that it'd be nice to have it, because they always have it in Japanese packs. So it's finally out. It's great. And I haven't got one yet. Now, this set's pull rates are not like the previous Scarlet and Violet pull rates. If you thought they were going to be like that, just toss that idea out the window. This set's pull rates resembles very similarly to Sword and Shield's alt art pull rates, where uh, you, you weren't guaranteed one in a booster box. You weren't guaranteed one in two or three booster boxes. And this is how it looks over here. You're, uh, the way the pull rates are, You I've gone through a whole case of the bundles of what was it the booster bundles got four special illustration rares not bad right but then i opened up 54 packs from the etbs and didn't get one didn't get a single sir so that just shows you how off these rates are not to mention that you know this isn't a booster box this is a ETB, these are booster bundles, so they don't really follow a specific pull rate like booster bo uh, boxes do, which is usually one or two SIRs, usually a total of four, anywhere between 12 and 15 pulls, you know, something like that. See, this set has me chasing and wanting to open more because I haven't gotten the Charizard, I haven't gotten the Venusaur, I haven't gotten the Alakazam, I haven't gotten the Zapdos, which I want the most. And I mean, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much how the set is. It's going to be much harder to get the pulls, but you feel you, you you get that sense of accomplishment when you finally pull the card. It's just amazing. It's uh, yeah, and I'm still going. I gotta get that Charizard. I gotta get that Venusaur. Like I said, I, gotta, I, I got I only got one, no two big SIRs. I guess I got Erica, and I got Blastoise. So I mean, yeah, the rest of them don't really matter because they're, I mean, not that they don't matter. It's not it's not what I'm going after. I go after. SIRs, I treat them like all art, so that's that's my thing. But yeah, this this in terms of pulls and chase cards, this set has plenty to go after. Plenty. We've gone over all the good stuff, you know, the, the chase, the beautiful cards, the god pack, all that stuff. Let me tell you the biggest problem of this set. It is a ongoing problem and it's a glaring issue with the company that's printing the Pokemon cards. Because we didn't have this problem with Sword and Shield as much. Nowhere near as much. And that is the printing quality. I mean, the quality of these cards is abysmal. Okay? And it's been going on for a lot of Scarlet and Violet products. It's, it's ever since Paldea evolved and all the way up. It's just been bad. All the SIRs I've gotten from uh, Scarlet and Violet, Paldea evolved, and Obsidian Flames. Right? I've only gotten one... SIR that I would consider mint condition. That was a Charizard. The other one, I think I got, a, I think I got a Gardevoir too, but from the first set. But I don't think it was mint. I think it was maybe near mint. Mint. I have to check again. But the point is, these cards have corner issues. It's like either there's either an issue with the corners being die cut wrong. <clears throat> there's a whitening on the edges. There is factory lines and these like roller press marks on them. I'm not sure if it's a roller press mark or if it's more like a... I'm not sure if it's a scrape? It just looks like something scuffed. Yeah, I'd say more of a scuffing. I mean, you're probably gonna go through 
if you even if you get your Charizard, you're probably gonna have to go through a few to be able to get one worth grading or one that you think is uh, fits your demands, I guess. I mean, don't get me wrong, the front of the cards for the most part are fine. You might get some ed edge itches on the top, like I got like these little little tiny dents on the top. Uh, but other than that, if you're just looking for a beautiful card to put in your binder, I mean, be, these will be fine. The moment you start going into one of the grade these cards, I'm not sure if you really want to go at open these cards to look for a card to get graded versus just buying a graded card online, to be completely honest. This set is so hard to get a mint copy to get graded. And, and even more so in the previous sets. I would say, like I said, Obsidian Flames is the only set that I saw that, that I got multiple cards that were grade worthy. That doesn't mean I'm gonna get them graded, they're just grade worthy, or beautiful cards, centered perfectly, no edge issues, no corner issues, no whitening. It's, I just wish they would fix this mess. And I'm, I'm gonna talk about it some more, some more in another video, but yeah, this, the quality has to pick up at some point. It's just, it's just sad, it's, it's sad. So what do I think of this set overall? Overall, it's an amazing set. This set is a great set and a great addition to Scarlet and Violet. This has plenty of chase cards. This has plenty of illustrations as rares that are beautiful. Beautiful, like I said, Zapdos to me is the most beautiful card there. Mwah. Just perfect. The set has its issues, but these issues have been ongoing since the beginning of Scarlet and Violet, and that is the print quality. Print quality, die cut quality, quality, quality inspection, all that stuff. It needs to be up, needs to be better. It was not this bad in uh, Sword and Shield. It wasn't. Even when they introduced the trainer gallery, it was not this bad. So this is something that really needs to get fixed by, uh, by Pokemon. I'm not sure what they can do. Uh, maybe that they're just rushing these sets out too fast or they're behind and they're getting, I don't know, but they need to fix that. But beyond that, the set's amazing. The art's beautiful. The pull rates, it depends on who you are. If you're me, it's great. Yeah, you, you, you chasing something, which means when you finally pull it, it gives you that much more of a great feeling versus just pulling everything out left and right like I was doing with previous sets. The pull, like so I said, the pull rates, it depends on who you are, if you like it or not. But overall, great set. Definitely buy it. Definitely grab a few to sit on the shelf for later time. Uh, once I get done opening all this stuff, I'm gonna probably get myself a, one case of uh, booster bundles and to set down the shelf for a later time to open because this set's going to be amazing and it's going to be even more amazing years down the road so that's my thought anyways you guys take care this is bird nest i'm out if you like what you watch please like share and subscribe and all that good stuff i'm sick i'm going to get some rest take care